all across the ice belt. From the far corners of the northeast to the mountainous west, stream trout are stocked to provide fishing options for cold water fish. The rainbow trout are the most common target, but brown trout and brook trout are available too. Being cold water fish, trout can be aggressive under ice, making them perfect for anglers seeking sporting action and fine meals after the catch. Hey, we got a tip up. Okay, I've got a flag, Jeff. If he's on there. A little angle to the line, that's a good sign. Yeah. Yep, we got him. How's it feel? Not a real big Ooh. fish, but it sounds oh yeah, oh, cool. pretty brook trout. Look Beautiful. at that. Isn't wow. that nice? I was just getting that rigger set up, and all of a sudden you're hollering tip up. So that's a that's a good sign. Huh? It is. Let's yeah, get in here and see active. what happens. Yeah. So we can find a couple of bigger fish. But wow. That's beauty. That's that's what we're looking for. Right that's there. beautiful. What'd you have on there? What'd you get it on? Just got a little uh, light six pound monofilament leader, a number ten treble hook, and I put two small uh, minnow panfish minnows on there. Just yeah. kind of let them swim against each other and uh, keep active to attract the fish in. I think I got one here, Tom. All right. He's got to get his head turned right there. There you go. Oh, Tom. Oh, Look at that. a nice rainbow. Isn't that a beautiful rainbow? Pretty. Wow. I tell you what, this, this rigging, this triple combo, we're using uh, jigging techniques, tip-up techniques, and, and the HT rigger is just a deadly way to get on these fish who are obviously in their comfort zone in this cold, cold weather. And if you can, it pays to spread out and use every tactic you can to get on these fish. Let's get this one down the hole. Here it goes. It's going, Jeff, it's going. No, no, no. Yeah. Get that out of there. Over there? Yeah, he's there. I feel like a monster, but but it's a trout. Maybe another brook trout. Oh, another rainbow. All right. <laughs> On the windlass. Yeah, beautiful. Isn't that fun? Yeah, isn't that cool? Well, those things hit, yeah. and the flag goes up, and the rocker arm goes down. It's such a strong bang. <laughs> you hear the thing, not just to uh, see it. Yeah, no, we didn't see it. We heard it, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. Boy, that's a pretty little, aren't they just gorgeous, Tom? Oh, they're fun. Really yeah. nice markings, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, beautiful. The cool thing about this tip, why don't you, why don't you talk about this time, how this kind of works. So, you know, we're, we're kind of just have a little breeze and protected here, uh, but it still gives that bait some action, doesn't it? Yeah, these are really neat to fish with. The, the main thing that's uh, the key feature is that the tip up will actually jig for you. So, in a situation like this where we've got these trout coming through and you want to try to attract the fish in with this rocker arm bringing motion to the bait. It helps draw the fish in. It's a, it's, a, it's just a great tip up. It should be in everybody's tip up, you know, arsenal. I think. Really, it is. It's an outstanding tip up in many situations that allowed fish a standard tip up three to one. Yeah. And what I've been doing here, Jeff, uh, I'm actually putting two minnows on this treble at the same time, kind of let them struggle and. Yeah, they kind of bang against each other and keep each other uh, moving, don't they? It, I think it does help uh, keep everything active. That's just a. A light six pound monofilament leader, of course a split shot, barrel swivel to attach the Dacron to the leader. Get some of the ice off of there so everything's operating smoothly. And with these tip-ups it's important to make sure that you anchor the base down. As hard as that fish hit, you don't want it to tip the unit over. So I've actually got the, the slot right here for it. Yeah. And when the line comes off the top of the spool here, which is important because it has to do that in order to trip the flag. So it's always an important thing to remember with the windlass. And I'm actually fishing not that far underneath the ice here. I'm only about five feet of water. And I'm just soaking those minnows just below the hole. Yeah. This is probably a foot of ice. Yep. yep. And then the flag, of course, sits on the back part of the spool here. And now it can do its magic. 